We're back, exploring the slums and breaking into places. So, opening treasure chest can be a good thing. They'll get you very valuable coins. And the keys only cost 75, 80, 65 if you find the right spots. But you have to be cautious with opening some treasure chest because you'll find a special item in a few of them. And yes, it's one of those items that stay in your inventory. If you can't get rid of it, you can stick yourself. And I mean stick yourself by mess yourself over. Also, oh god the bees. Oh god the bees. They're not that bad really. I still think they're bad though. I hate bees. My brother is allergic to bees, but he likes playing around bees' nests too much. But nope, still can't open that. Not even with the crowbar. What? That must be a pretty secure locked door. Does it require a master thief? Perhaps. The answer is yes. But while I'm diddly dallying around, isn't it about time I find something useful to plot? Oh dear! Guess what? It's Pink Demon's friend. The Green Demon. And yes, he spits fireballs. Just like his friend. But he's a little bit faster, too. And Crowbar really isn't the best weapon to fire with. But if you can get him in a pattern, it's awesome. But if you fail, he restores full life. Also, they spawn me in the worst place possible. So if you need to retreat and get your life restored before you lose a valuable life. Good thing I'm using the cheat. You're Morals about cheating aside. Will eventually lead you to victory. And the item we've been looking for for ages. The long lost, quote unquote, golden thief statue. Yay, we can become a master thief. Was it really worth it though? Indeed. Let's climb up a little bit more. And once again, try to find the Thieves' Guild. Where, oh, where could that Thieves' Guild be? Yeah, these are the rooms I'm talking about. The ones with only about 30 gold worth. And now with the crowbar, fortunately, I don't have to spend as many keys to get money. Still have to open regular doors with the keys. Also, I got a coat on to prevent that, but that's not the point. The point is, I need to find that guild master. I sort of don't remember where he is at the moment. He must be in a very sneaky place, wouldn't you think? I think so too. And oh dear. So allow me to transition over here a little bit. If you're fortunate enough, you'll find this guy. A wise man. Also awesome music. Oh my! If you haven't found any special items, give it to him and he'll give you a great hint. Plus take him off your hands. Because you really don't want those items. They give you nice hints, but not necessary ones. You can skip the items completely impossible. They are hidden in treasure chests, so you might be a little wary about nabbing treasure chests. Oh no, it's ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, I need to get more keys.
I know, I got them from the most expensive place. But I'm not too worried about gold. One, since I'm cheating. And two, well, you can find a total of about 53,000 gold in the game. It hopefully will save you. But you might want to avoid eating too much food. Because food is expensive. You'll need a minimum of 14 keys to get through the game. But there are at least 60 plus doors. And more treasure chests, so you're looking at close to 100 keys. And for that purpose, well, try not to buy food unless it's absolutely necessary. Until you can find a random piece of meat out on the street. What? Or in a building. Like that, for example. And get out before the falling debris hits you again. But Magua, where's the Guildmaster? Well, to tell you the truth, I think I might need another ability. But you have to be careful not to get too many statues too soon. Also, left and right. You can change between the level of class. In case you want to use be snazzy, or change between abilities. So we're going underground again. But Magma, you can't get very far. What about this dude? What about this dude? That dude has been popped. And now I can go mostly unimpeded through the underground. But as you figure, a lot of platforms. And strange green clouds aside, they won't be aggressive unless you're a different class than the wizard. Speaking of wonderful places to be as a wizard, let's not buy some expensive food and get some gossip instead. Oh dear. I see us fighting a three headed dragon in the future. I also see us buying a drink. This is probably the best place to get keys. There are only 75. I could be wrong though. I should! But how did you know that, buddy? And how do I get past the waterfall? And how are you going to give me some more gossip? And tell me your third thing. Apparently not. In the next video, we'll explore more of the underground. As I don my robe and magic staff. In the window aside.